Hey you guys, Uncle Jesse here. I figured I'd post a quick video since a few of you have asked what are some of the steps that I take to actually finish my 3D props that I've created. And one of the things that I typically use is Bondo Glaze and Spot Putty. What this is, is it's basically like the big huge tin of Bondo. Basically what it's like is this huge big bin of Bondo but it's already mixed and it's a little bit thinner of a formula, I guess you could say, that it's in this little tube here. I believe these are like three to six bucks that you can pick up at any auto body shop. I'm sure there's other brands as well that you can use. This is the one that I particularly use. I also use wood filler from time to time. This also could take the place of XTC 3D. For me, I actually go over any of the spots where I wanna fill some of the craters. Basically put a little bit on my finger, and then start working it into that location. Again, this is really for filling any divots or defects, maybe pinholes, these little holes that you'll see when you're working with Bondo or other materials like that, or even sculpting things. This will really help even out the surface so that you can go back over it and sand it out and fill those areas. Basically what I'm trying to do is create a really smooth looking cowl. So here I'm just going back over and filling some of these spots and then I'll actually go back through and sand it once it dries. And this dries very fast. Within 30 minutes I can actually go back in and start sanding this out. Also one thing that I will do sometimes is take a Sharpie or pen or pencil and basically go back over and circle out any area that I want to make sure to touch up just so that I don't overlook it in this process here. Ta-da! <laughs> so now that this is all dried up, I can take some 400 grit sandpaper. You wanna take, you know, 400, 600, even 120. You definitely don't wanna go lower than 120 on this because it's gonna really eat away at it. Uh, something that'll help really smooth this out. So I'm just gonna go back over all these areas and sand it down to help smooth it out and it should be ready to paint. So again, so now that I've applied some Bondo, sanded it back down, and I've got it nice and smooth and where I want it to be, I'm gonna bring it back outside, hit it with another coat of primer, and then paint this bad boy black, assuming there's no more imperfections that I wanna touch up. All right, so here's the helmet again. It's all primed up and ready to go. I'm basically gonna go over and do a little bit more sanding on this. I'm so anal when it comes to some of this stuff, so I want this really smooth. I want it really smooth. I'm also seeing a few more divots here, so I'm gonna clean those up. And in the next video, I will be painting this black. Cannot wait to get this thing finished and on display. Hey, thanks again for watching, you guys. If you haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, leave me some feedback down below. Let me know what you think of the Batman cowl and how excited you are to see it in flat black. This should look badass. Very similar to what was in the Batman vs Superman movie. Bearded Batman all the way.